In example four, we're given multiplication problems that involved both terms being mixed numbers. And again, we have two methods uh, that, that we can use to, uh, to do these, but really when we have two mixed numbers instead of a mixed number and a fraction, we should really just convert to, uh, to improper fractions and then multiply. Uh, we can use the other method, but it gets a lot more complicated when we have a, a mixed number in both terms. So we'll use that first method of converting to an improper fraction before multiplying uh, with both of these problems. With part A, we're given 3 and 1 fifth times 4 and 1 fourth. So if we convert that first to an improper fraction, we have 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16, so this ends up being 16 fifths times, 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 is 17 fourths. So we multiply across the top, multiply the numerators, and we multiply across the bottom, 5 times 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to use a trick that will make this a little simpler. If we have on top of one and on bottom of another. So numerator of one and denominator of the other. Uh, terms that have, or values that have a common factor. We can go ahead and factor out that common factor and cancel it before we multiply. So 16 and four share a common factor of four. So I'm gonna go ahead and 16 divided by four is four and four divided by four is one. And that's gonna make this problem a little simpler because now we're going to have 4 times 17 over 5 times 1. And 4 times 17 is a little bit easier than 16 times 17, so this helps us out quite a bit. 4 times 17, that's going to be 4 times 10 is 40, and then 4 times 7 is 28, so that's going to be 68. And again, that's still over 5 times 1 is 5. And now we have 68 fifths, we'll go ahead and write that out as a division problem. 5 times 1 is 5, 6 minus 5 is 1, bring down your 8, 5 times 3 is 15, 18 minus 15 is 3, and that's less than the, the 5, so a remainder we put over what we're dividing by, so this equals 13 and 3 fifths. Moving on to part B, we have a negative value with our first mixed number. So we want to recognize first off that a negative times a positive is going to be a negative. So we want to know that we need to know that the solution is going to be negative. We'll go ahead and write this as an improper fraction. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 1 is 17. So this is negative 17 eighths times 6 times 5 is 30 plus 2 is 32 fifths. We'll go ahead and use our trick again because 32 and 8 have common factors of 8. 32 divided by 8 is 4. 8 divided by 8 is 1. So then our problem ends up being multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. I'm going to keep the negative with the 17. So negative 17 times 4 over 1 times 5. And this looks fairly similar to our previous problem. 17 times 4, we already know, is 68. So this is negative 68 over 5. And since we already know 68 fifths is 13 and 3 fifths, the only difference is that this time we have a negative. This is negative 13 and 3 fifths. So again, anytime we're multiplying mixed numbers, we want to convert them to improper fractions, then multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and then simplify. If we have common factors in the numerator and denominator of each term, the top of one, the bottom of the other, we can factor out those common factors first and that makes things a little simpler.